Hello everyone, welcome back to Nuffly and today I'm going to show you how to install Diamatic Lights from Minecraft 1.19.3. Now before I get into it though, if you do enjoy this video, I really really appreciate a like and also a sub to the channel would be amazing. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually come to the website just here. Now we will leave a link in the description down below to this website. And now here, this is where you download Diamatic Lights. So once you come to this page, what you're going to want to do is actually click on the Files button just over here. So click on that. And then when this page here loads, what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually click on the latest version just here. So as you can see just here, it's Minecraft 1.19.3 just there. Now you can just click on download file just over here. Or if you wanna download a different version, you can come down further and you can download the different ones just down here as well by clicking these little download buttons. But I'm gonna download the Minecraft 1.19.3 version just here and click on download file. And now this might take five seconds to download and once it downloads it should go to your downloads folder so as you can see mine now has just downloaded into the corner just down here so what i'm going to do is actually drag this to my desktop just now so i'm going to pop that just there for now you're also going to need the mod menu mod as well so i will leave the link in the description down below for this as well so what you're going to want to do is click on files just here and then click on the download button just over here so once you click on that this will take five seconds once again to download i'm also going to drag that to my desktop as well just there and now you need another mod and it's this one just here this is the actual minecraft uh, fabric launcher so you do need this as well so click on download for windows and that should just download straight down here so i'm also going to drag that to my desktop as well just there i'm going to move it a little bit further down just there so there it is the fabric installer and also you need the fabric api as well so just download this so click on files and then click on download just here and this will take five seconds as well to download. So I'm going to drag that to my desktop as well. And now we do not need these no more. So I'm going to get rid of that for now. So as you can see here, I've got three mods. So one is Diamatic Lights, one is the mod menu, and one is the Fabric API. Now these are the ones you added to your Minecraft mod folder. Now I will show you how to do that in a second. So I quickly want to mention that if you do not have these little coffee mugs in these little logos just here, that is probably because you don't have Java installed. Now, if you want to know how to install Java, I might leave a link in the description down below. But if not, I will leave a link to the Java website to download Java. And you might also need to install JarFix as well. I will leave a link in the description down below for that as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually install this file just here, the Fabric Loader mod. So just double click onto this file just here. And it should load up a little menu just like this one. Now, what you're going to want to do is actually make sure it's on Client just here. So not server, make sure it's on client just here. Then once it's on client, make sure it is for Minecraft 1.19.3 just there or whatever version you are using. And also make sure it does go to your .minecraft folder just here. So do make sure it goes to there. If not, click on the three little dots here and locate your Minecraft or your .minecraft just there. So make sure you do find that. But it should add that in there automatically. And now what you're going to want to do is actually click on install just here. So click on that. Then once it's installed, it should say this message just here and that's all good to go and click on OK. And now you can get rid of this file. You do not need this file here no more. So I'm going to delete that and you don't need that. So to install these three mods just here, what you're going to want to do is actually load up your Minecraft. So here it is. My Minecraft launcher has now loaded. So what you're going to want to do is actually click on installations just here. Then once you click on that, come down here, hover over latest release just here and then go to this little file button just over here. So click on that. So when this loads up, this should automatically put you into your .minecraft folder. So this is where your Minecraft is installed to. So what you're going to want to do is actually come down until you find mods just here. So you find your mods folder. But if you can't find your mods folder, you can make one. Pretty simple. So I've just deleted my one. And I'm going to show you how to make one if you don't have a mods folder. So what you're going to want to do is actually right click, click on new, and then click on folder. And from here, just simply just call it mods, just like that. And now you've got a mods folder. Pretty simple. And that's how you get a mods folder. So what you're going to want to do now is actually just double click into this folder. So here we are in my mods folder. Now what we're going to want to do is actually drag these three mods into here just like that. And we are done on this part. Just close out your mods folder just like that. And then come back over to your play just here. And before you click on play, make sure you click on this little release button just down here. Then put it to your fabric loader just here. Minecraft 1.19.3 just there. So click on that and then click on play. So here we are in Minecraft, as you can see. So as you can see right now, I'm actually holding a torch and the diamatic lights are not working. Now the reason for this is because it's actually turned off in the settings and it is very simple to turn this on in the settings. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually click on start, then click on options, video settings. And at the bottom here, here is the diamatic light settings. So click on that. And then from here, you can just simply turn this on so I'll turn it on just like that to fancy. And also there are some more options here so you can change these if you like to. 
but I'm not going to do any of this. I'm going to leave all default and then click on done just down here and it's enter out of here. And as you can see right now, Dymatic Lights is actually working. So yeah, this is actually very good if you just want to light up caves around you. And also if you throw your torch, it should just light up just like that, just over there, as you can see. And this mod doesn't only just work for torches, it also works for other things as well, as you can see. Now, if you want to know how to actually install this for Forage, I will leave a link on screen just now. Or if you want to know how to get more FPS in Minecraft, I'll also leave a link on screen as well to get more FPS in Minecraft. Now, hopefully you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.